Whether it's for animation, video games, or other media, all 3D objects have topology. Complex meshes made up of polygons sculpted to whatever you want. For a 3D object to be animated well, it needs to have good topology. Engines can't run smoothly or quickly if they have to calculate billions of polygons every second. That's where retopology comes in. Retopology is done to reduce the poly count of a mesh while retaining the same level of detail. There isn't any one way of doing it, just knowing the fundamentals well enough to suit your needs. For example, having triangles scattered across your mesh isn't good for animating a character, but it's great for game engines which triangulate all meshes anyway. For this base mesh of Ari, I geared her topology towards the needs of an animation-ready model. The process is essentially to use a plane to extrude and create a mask around your base mesh. And to ensure the plane follows the curvature of the object, you can enable snap at the top of your screen with these settings. I changed the color of the plane that I'm using in the object properties tab on the right so that I can see what I'm doing better and enable the mirror modifier to duplicate what I'm doing on the other side. All I'm doing with the plane is extruding it and merging vertices to create loops. You can either use the poly build tool or the E shortcut to extrude and control M to merge. The flow of the topology reflects how certain areas would move when animated. So areas that need to crease or bend more would have a higher density of geometry. My suggestion and what I'm doing here is starting off with bigger polygons and going in to subdivide them later when I want detail. Like I said before, there isn't any one way to do this and limiting yourself to a single method might actually hinder your process. At this point, I'd focus on closing off areas of the mesh like the nostrils, the eye sockets, or even the ears.
At this point, I'm applying a subdivision surface modifier to see what the final mesh would look like. I'll add edge loops to define the creases I want highlighted, like the eyelids or the bridge of the nose. Areas that bulge out like the breasts, the elbows, and the knees need a higher density of polygons and different flow to animate well. These are called patches. They're essentially a different way of organizing your polygons to move better in certain axes. There's a lot of complicated math involved in creating patches and you could technically make your own to suit your needs, but if you're a beginner, which I assume most of you watching this video are, I suggest just referencing some images and recreating them. And that's essentially what you need to know to get into retopology. Once you know the basics, you could do anything with your models. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like and comment anything you'd like to see from us. And don't forget to subscribe. And just a little announcement, we recently opened up a Patreon and it would really help us if you could check it out. We currently only have two tiers, one for a dollar, which is just general support, and one for three dollars, which grants you access to our private Patreon feed. We will be posting a bunch of behind the scenes stuff and even projects that didn't make it to the channel. As usual, all the project files are available for free in the description and join us on our Discord server where you can directly interact with us and engage with a whole bunch of like-minded people.